today's project is a fabric tissue holder. I was given a tissue holder by a good friend and it was such a cute um, item that I wanted to make some for my friends. And also, I, it was so easy that I had my nine-year-old make it for his teacher at school. And so I'm going to show you today how simple it is to make. So all you need to make this is some tissue, some rickrack for embellishment, and three pieces of scrap fabric. And I think it's a good idea to have a non-directional fabric so it doesn't matter which way your pattern is facing. I do everything on a cutting mat and so it's pretty simple. You can use scraps or if you're cutting it off the bolt, I, um, I get my tissues and decide what size I need to cut out the fabric. So I start by laying it down and I usually leave about an inch on all four sides of the tissue holder. So this, this is about a four by six width. You'll need width and length. So I just am going to cut out six inches. And then it's really easy to use your cutting ruler and just cut out four inches. And when you're doing this, you can make a whole bunch at a time. And these make great gifts for a friend who's under the weather or just something you're thinking of just to drop by or maybe, you know, a simple birthday gift. So see how easy it is to cut quite a few out at a time. So you need three to make one tissue holder. So I'm going to get all three out. And this is going to be your bottom piece. Now you're going to do right sides together, so you're going to turn that up like that. And then you're going to make your pocket, your opening for your pocket. So the, the best thing to do is get a nice hot iron. But since I don't have one ready right now, I'm going to just finger press. And then you're going to roll it again, like this. Now, as you see here, I like to put a little embellishment on, so I added a little velvet rickrack. That's easy to do, and you only need to do it on one piece. So I'm going to put velvet rickrack down like this, and I'm going to pin it so it doesn't move around when I'm sewing it. And then I just use my rotary cutter to trim off the edges. And I just pin that in place, iron it well before and then just do one stitch down the middle like that and then you're, it's going to give you a finished edge in the middle. So that piece is ready to go. Same thing. Finger press. Again you can iron it. Easily get a nice hot iron. You're going to take that to the sewing machine. So let's go sew. Okay, I'm going to just take a 3 8 inch seam. And just sew that straight. Clip my threads. And we'll do the one with the rickrack. Let's take out my needle as I go. Again, three eighths, and so just down right in the center of the rickrack. Okay, once you've got your two sections sewed, you got three eighths an inch. It's all finished off. You're going to put it on top of your bottom piece. Again, right sides together. You're going to start with. This, the velvet rickrack, because that's going to be the top. You're going to put that there. Then you're going to put the other one on top, just like this, matching corners. And then you're going to pin it together. That's going to create your opening. And then if you want, um, you can make a pivoting mark on your corners. And I like to do this, you know, for beginner sewers. I did it for my son. So you can kind of see where that 3 eighths of an inch is. And then 
make a little mark. Not three eighths right there. Make a little mark. And if you, again, if you've got a seam gauge, those work great too. Those are really great. There. Now you're ready to sew. Let's take it to the sewing machine and finish. We just sewed around using 3 eighths of an inch and we're ready to turn inside out. But first, we'll just cut off our corners. Just to give you that nice sharp corner. Now you're going to flip inside out. And then after you're done turning inside and out, it's a great time to press and get your corners really pulled out. So there's this. All you need to do is get some tissues. I always take them out of the plastic. And just quickly insert them in. It's all had a nice press and it's all nice and tidy. And look how easy that turned out. And if you put a bow around it, maybe include some lotion, it makes a great gift that I think will be really appreciated.